Welcome back to our channel, where we delve into captivating topics about Africa's growth and development. In today's video, we're going to explore an intriguing subject, Rwanda's ambitious plan to achieve extraordinary economic prosperity. Known as the Land of a Thousand Hills, Rwanda has made remarkable strides in recent years, transforming itself into an economic powerhouse in East Africa. Join us on this exciting journey as we uncover Rwanda's strategies and initiatives to become insanely rich. Before we dive into the details, hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. If you find this content fascinating, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share it with others who are curious about Africa's incredible growth stories. Now, let's embark on this captivating exploration of Rwanda's path to unprecedented wealth. The area that is now Rwanda was first inhabited by the TWA people, who are believed to have migrated to the region from Central Africa around 10,000 years ago. The Hutu people, who are believed to have migrated from Bantu-speaking regions of Central and West Africa, arrived in Rwanda around the 5th century AD. The Tutsi people, who are believed to have migrated from the Horn of Africa, arrived in Rwanda around the 14th century AD. The Kingdom of Rwanda was founded in the 14th century by the Tutsi people. The kingdom was a centralized state with a strong military. The Tutsi kings were the rulers of Rwanda, and they held absolute power. The Hutu people were the majority of the population, but they were farmers and herders and did not have much political power. Rwanda was colonized by Germany in 1890. The Germans ruled Rwanda indirectly through the Tutsi king. The Germans built roads and bridges and introduced new crops and technologies. However, the Germans also exploited the Rwandan people, and they forced them to work on plantations and pay taxes. In 1916, Belgium took control of Rwanda from Germany. The Belgians continued to rule Rwanda indirectly through the Tutsi king. However, the Belgians also favored the Tutsi people over the Hutu people. This led to resentment among the Hutu people, and it set the stage for the Rwandan genocide of 1994. Rwanda gained independence from Belgium in 1962. The Hutu people took control of the government, and they began to discriminate against the Tutsi people. The Tutsi people were forced to flee Rwanda, and many of them were killed. In 1990, the Tutsi Rwandan Patriotic Front invaded Rwanda from Uganda. The RPF fought a long and bloody civil war against the Hutu-led government. The war ended in 1994 with the victory of the RPF. In 1994, the Hutu government launched a genocide against the Tutsi people. The genocide lasted for 100 days, and it killed an estimated 800,000 people. The genocide was one of the most horrific events in human history. After the genocide, Rwanda was a devastated country. The economy was in ruins, and the infrastructure was destroyed. However, the Rwandan people began to rebuild their country. They established a new government, and they started to heal from the wounds of the genocide. Today, Rwanda is one of the fastest-growing economies in Africa. The country has made significant progress in reducing poverty and improving education and healthcare. Rwanda is also a regional leader in peace and security. Rwanda has a bold plan to become a high-income country by 2035. The country's vision plan outlines a series of ambitious goals, including becoming a regional hub for trade and investment, developing a world-class education and healthcare system, and creating a green and sustainable economy. One of the key drivers of Rwanda's economic growth is its focus on technology and innovation. The country has invested heavily in developing its infrastructure, including its telecommunications network and its roads and bridges. Rwanda is also home to a growing number of technology startups, and the government has created several incentives to attract foreign investment in the tech sector. Another key factor in Rwanda's success is its focus on human capital. The country has made significant investments in education and healthcare, and as a result, it has a well-educated and healthy workforce. Rwanda also has a strong tradition of entrepreneurship, and the government has created several programs to support small businesses. Rwanda's economic growth has been impressive in recent years. The country's gross domestic product has grown at an average annual rate of 7.2% over the past decade, and it is expected to continue to grow at a strong pace in the coming years. Rwanda's economy is now one of the fastest growing in Africa, and it is on track to become a high-income country by 2035. Here are some of the specific goals that Rwanda has set for itself in its Vision 2035 plan. Rwanda aims to become a major hub for trade and investment in East Africa. The country is located in a strategic location, 
and it has a stable and business-friendly environment. Rwanda is also a member of the common market for Eastern and Southern Africa, which gives it access to a market of over 500 million people. Rwanda is committed to providing its citizens with access to quality education and healthcare. The country has made significant investments in these sectors, and as a result, it has one of the highest literacy rates in Africa and one of the lowest infant mortality rates. Rwanda is committed to protecting its environment and developing a green economy. The country has implemented several policies to promote sustainable development, such as banning plastic bags and investing in renewable energy. Rwanda's Vision 2035 plan is an ambitious one, but it is also achievable. The country has a strong track record of economic growth and development, and it is committed to investing in its people and its future. If Rwanda can achieve its goals, it will become a model for other developing countries in Africa and around the world. As we conclude our exploration of Rwanda's pursuit of extraordinary wealth, we hope you've gained valuable insights into the country's innovative strategies and initiatives. Through its visionary leadership, Rwanda has demonstrated an unwavering commitment to socio-economic development, sustainable growth, and inclusive prosperity. The journey to becoming insanely rich is not without challenges, but Rwanda's determination and focus have positioned it on a remarkable trajectory. We'd love to hear your thoughts on Rwanda's strategies or any experiences you've had in this dynamic country, so leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more captivating content about Africa's incredible progress. Until our next adventure, keep exploring.